All right, this is a X Tools three millimeter black acrylic. Now I've had some great success with the black acrylic that I had, and uh, yeah, didn't realize things are getting a little messy around here. <laughs> but anyway, these logos come out amazing, and I've been using the Creative Space settings. I have been peeling off the front for the engraving. So the engraving goes on super nice. And then once you do the cutting, it will cut right through, like if you had to cut through just the, it will cut through both layers anyway. If you want to leave the protective on it or just cutting the shape, but for whatever reason. But yeah, so I'm gonna peel. I want to put my extra more, that one on the acrylic. I have another sheet of what the same stuff that I've been using, I actually pretty much cut up all that sheet to do. I even cut up a Nova Scotia symbol. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna go right ahead and we're gonna put extra more creation on three millimeter black, black acrylic, just like this. And uh, yeah, so I will be loading a video real soon of the unboxing of the S1. All right. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, I'm gonna go about three, four inches, so I just kinda of went with that square right there and uh, rip that off. So yeah, it's nice and clean there. Um, I got a little special uh, towel here, towel here so I can wipe it clean. And then we're gonna go right ahead. We're gonna square it up. I got a special way I kinda of just line it up with the top of all these. The uh, honeycomb is very square, so if I, line up with like the top of that honeycomb and then line here keeps everything nice and square and then we're going to go right ahead we're going to try not to use very much of the sheet at all we're going to go right ahead and use like the very top corner of that we're going to run my test i know if i invert it it'll come great just like that making sure that i leave the letters like that too so yeah let's go right ahead and get this going Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your image up. Now, there's a few things I'm going to want to do to this image before I get going on it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to edit it. You can see there's a white background, and that's so easy with this. You're literally just going to click on it, and if you're lucky, boom, that's perfect. Going to click Save. I don't Normally, I would go in and do the letters and stuff like that, but here I'm going to show you why I don't. You're going to go to Adjustments. You're going to go to Invert. And you're gonna see, boom, that is amazing. That's how I get that to turn out uh, good on the uh, bamboo and then on the stone there, as I was showing you. And then if I would have um, left the letters as is, they would have been white. So I would have, I would have lost them there. So this is perfect. That's exactly what I want. So now we're gonna go right ahead. I think I'm gonna go and make like a four inch one. I think that's gonna turn out really good. Um, We'll see, whatever I get the most out of that sheet, I wanna go equal, like three or four inches anyway. So we're gonna go right ahead. I'm gonna take a quick measurement, decide on a size here. All right, decide I'm gonna go three and a quarter, three and three quarters, 3.75. So it's a little bit wider than it is taller. That's fine. I've got a little, so I've got kind of like a four by four square. I got a couple of leatherettes there, I kind of place right there. So it's gonna be, Easy, I've already measured that. I use this little measuring cape here. So you can go right ahead, I've kind of hooked on. And those are three inches, so you can see they're past an inch. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go right ahead. We're gonna start. Actually, the first thing you wanna do, I think this is still connected. So we're connected and you're gonna wanna make sure. Now, one time I had that go by and I had it actually, I didn't realize it was past. It went in, hit the grid. Oh man, it was bad. It made some shaking and stuff like that. I thought it was caught. Anyway, so the first thing you want to do, yeah, is take your measurements. So that thing is, is going to touch where the, um, where the crosshair is. So if the crosshair is right there on the C, and when you click on that, you're going to see it's actually going to come over and touch down right where you, so keep that in mind. So that's done. It's got that on the screen. Good, we need that. Okay, here's another quick thing, watch this. This is black opaque, this is this is what they are sending you. This is, I'm using X-Tools black opaque, and yeah, we want to engrave, so this is what they suggest, 40% power, 200 speed, we're gonna do what they suggest. All we need to do is start marking. 
Then we want a rectangle, go right ahead, make this real simple here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the bottom. It's gonna be easier for me to get the, uh, the leatherettes out after. Again, this is just to uh, put that right on the edge of that sheet. There's the first spot. It's too easy. So now we have a four by four. It gives me a time to wipe this off, clean that up. I'm gonna put end marking, I'm gonna put done. And now you can see extra more will fit in there with ease. It's already set to the X-Tool settings. The crosshairs come on showing me that I am perfectly, oh, I had it there. See there, crosshairs. Centered, and we have engrave. This is again, this is the X-Tool settings. This is what they have, this is what I got on there. Okay, now I'm gonna clean it up and then we're gonna go right ahead and we're gonna get this going. Had a, yeah, let's get this cleaned up and get this going. We want as clean as possible, that's for sure. Make a nice, clean engrave. And this will cut through like a boss. We'll see what the X tool is compared to the stuff that I got on Amazon. All right, we got that all cleaned up. We are good to close because it's going to tell you to close and you're going to want to get going. We're all good. Double check, that's engrave. That's the X tool setting. Again, that's black, opaque, glossy acrylic. And we're gonna go right ahead, we're gonna hit process. It's gonna show you what's going on here. It's gonna give you an estimated time. I didn't do the recent update, 10 minutes. That's real quick. I mean, it's only, that looks amazing. See there while you wanna do the in, um, invert image. This is an image that I made myself. And we're ready to go, bro. Very <clears throat> curious to see how it's gonna come up. I'm sure it'll be the same, if not even better. Um, this was acrylic that I got on Amazon with the same settings, same, doing it the exact same way. Oh yeah. That first line on the top there, yep. Oh yeah. Give it a little wipe down in the end and it'll be fine. All right, she's whipping along. And one thing I do just <clears throat> forgot, so I wanted this to cut. <clears throat> it's always a fun one to cut, but um, it will do the outline. I think I can still do it as long as it stayed up frame, goes back to the position. Um, like if it was ready to process again, I forgot. So this will be a test. And as long as I don't touch nothing, I'm gonna leave it closed. And then I'm gonna do the outline and I'm gonna shut the, kind of get rid of the image and uh, just do the cut. I think I'll be able to save this just like if I was gonna do it all in one shot. So it'll be a way of showing you how you can do that separate. I usually do it all at once. Didn't mean to do this, too excited to get the video going and stuff like that, show you guys and uh, get my logo going. Man, the waves are looking awesome. Can't wait to see the detail. All right, we're cruising into the finish line here. Man, the letters come on so good. Look at that on that slate. And the light's off. The light's not that good in here. I can't wait to get this finished. But yeah, one of this is done. I'm hoping that I can just kind of keep it in frame here. Not gonna mess with nothing. <clears throat> then we're gonna cut it. I need that cut out to that shape. I've done it plenty. I've done it for my hat and stuff like that. It's not an issue. It's easy to do. I'll show you how. All right, it's done. And it looks absolutely amazing. You wait till I wipe that down. Now, I forgot to cut it. That's why I went so quick. But the cutting goes pretty quick too. So, without moving that at all, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on it though. You can always go to like uh, back here. So now we're gonna go to outline. That's pretty tight. 
That's pretty tight. Add an inner line, no inner lines. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go with that as is. Now, I'm gonna set one to red. Because blue was gonna be the outline. Red is engraved. Blue is your new one here. One way to find out. Perfect. Get rid of that. That goes to cut. And we're ready to go. That should be it. It's gonna be just inside that, yep. I think we'll be all right. <coughs> it's gonna be damn close. But we got this, we got this, we're going for it, we're going for it. Doesn't look like anything's moved. Going for it. Save the day here. Flames like a boss. I'd say everything stayed right where it was supposed to. You can see the smoke is now getting more. It's well vented. It's going real good outside there. I just got to finish stuff in here. This is a. Uh... But yeah, look at that. We saved her. She's cutting just like she's supposed to. Going right around that flame. See there. Oh, we're not, we're not, we're not wasting. I don't like to waste. I like to try to get every bit out of whatever material I'm working with. Oh, it's gonna go around that little bit there. Oh yeah, so that's what it's going around there, right? See how it comes to the end here. I was curious to see if I had enough there. We're gonna lose it. Holy smokes, that is just in there. We got it. We got it. You wait till I pull that out. It's, it's through. I'm so excited about this. It was cool that I was like, just to show you how you could save that, how to do the outline, do it separate, do it together. Oh no, of course I can't get my fingernails on each other. Yeah. Now I just need to wipe it down. Fresh. It's beautiful. There it is. It's good, I like it. It's good quality. Could wipe it down even a little bit more, get that, see that detail even more. You can see the lighter waves, a little bit darker waves and stuff like that. It does get that detail. Maybe I should have got the IR instead of the deluxe. Mm, we'll see though. Hopefully I get everything going. But yeah, that looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, X-Tool um, settings, X-Tool acrylic, and that's my logo on it, and cut out, so it's that easy. Love it.